we're here with Carly Richardson. And Carly, it is 427. And so Carly, tell us about where you kept your horse last night. I kept my horses in the stock contractor pens because radio doesn't do very well in stalls. <laughs> he likes to kick and he doesn't eat very well in stalls. So we just picked them up and we are headed to the stadium to practice. Awesome. So we're here at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. So you're a participant in the Houston Rodeo. Do you know your draw number tonight? Um, I actually don't. I haven't looked at it yet. Okay. Hopefully it's early though. Sure. What, uh, what time did you get in last night? Um, I actually was up at Austin um, Friday night. So we left Friday night after Austin and drove in to try and miss traffic. And so we hung out all day yesterday. So it was nice to not have to, I've driven in here before and got here just in time for the practice. So perfect. This was better. Well guys, I'm just giving you a glimpse into Carly's life on the rodeo road. Cause as you can attest, everyone always wonders um, how these rodeo contestants carry on and keep, keep the momentum going. Cause this is not an easy task for anyone. And so I just thought this would be a great opportunity to share with everyone what these girls endure and these horses and what they go through to be gritty and tough while on the road. So Carly is smiles and grins and at 428 AM we are headed to the Reliant Stadium. So I'll give you a glimpse through there. So that's why y'all are a perfect fit then Carly. Are you grumpy, Radio? Hi, love. While you're on the road, who's training your colts, or um, how does that work? My dad rides them, mostly. My sister has a couple of them, too, that are a little bit more local. But, um, for the most part, my dad rides them outside on the ranch. So she uses them, like, um, with the cattle and stuff. Nice. As Do you practice every single morning over the first, over these three nights? Or? I, ha I haven't. Well, the first year I went twice, and then last year he was working so good, I did. I came the first time, and that was it. Um, I won third last year, and he he just he worked really really good. Um, Houston is so different because it's such a big arena and such a tiny pattern. Um, and there's 70,000 people in the stands. Which, to put it into perspective, there's 18,000 at the NFR. So, we're talking a whole new ball game with the people. You know, Carly, I gotta tell you, and I hate to say this on camera, but I am a CSI pad user myself, and I find it very funny that you're riding a CSI pad, and Bob Marshall is one of my page sponsors, and you are riding a very well broken in Bob Marshall. Uh, breast collar 
Ready? Are you gonna give them one more trot through now that you've visioned everything, seeing where the stakes are? Yeah, I'll probably trot him through one more time and then that'll be it for him. He's I'll... a perfect gentleman. He is. He is. I was riding fair back with a halter yesterday. Radio, are you ready to make some runs? We're gonna turn up the radio tonight. Yes. Turn up the radio. And then he'll get a bath so he won't look like a paint. 
talking to people and um, just believing in myself and he he changed my life he really did I know that sounds silly but when he gave me confidence I've never had in and out of the arena so radio is biting his butt He's jealous. because in the perf that won't be up. Right, they'll take that stage down. Okay. Um, so that actually helps me because sometimes radio will get short to the third if there's a close spin. <laughs> um, but yeah, they'll wheel that out and it's kind of show me a plan. So when we get back, I'll feed him. I 
you get your photo of you in it? Yeah. Right. Radio's checking. Look, he's like, that's where everyone's going in to watch me tonight? I know probably every pedigree counts or how, you know, life on the road is for each of them, but is there any maintenance that you do uh, preventative wise? Um, I ice their legs a lot. Okay. I hydro their legs a lot. I sweat their legs a lot. Um, try to keep their legs really tight.
loves Bob Marshall. And again, this has nothing to do because they're my page sponsors. But I remember whenever I went from a Bob Marshall and then sat in a tree saddle, I felt like I was on a bird's nest perched in a tree limb. So I guess once your nap is taken, your day, and you're up and you're at it, and you go do autographs, and you have your 11 o'clock meeting, it rolls pretty quick from there. It does. Yeah, it does, especially today, because the curve starts at 3.45. So, um, after the meeting, I'll give him a bath, and try and make him, clean him up a little, and then give myself a bath, and then we'll probably head so is the hospitality at all the uh, rodeos the same? Do you get free shavings? Do you pay for a stall? How does that work compared to the charity world? Um, no, Houston is above and beyond their hospitality. The volunteers here are amazing. I pulled in the other night from Austin at 1 o'clock in the morning. And all the volunteers there were so happy to see me. And I said, so do y'all go home and sleep all day? And they were like, no, we have real jobs. the trailer but we are not good ones to ask about what we eat because we're not very healthy <laughs> what are we doing here um this is where we get all our passes they tell us the rules um nothing too exciting hey, how are you good good exciting money <laughs> <laughs> okay sterling you've been up all night so 
it's okay that you're going to take one for the team. But what is it like having to man the fort to keep Carly in check? Because I've got to see Carly, and she's kind of like a hot mess, but not really, but hot mess in a good way. Well, I'm the same way, so it's like um, the blind leading the blind, basically. But I'm like, I can see a little better than her, so... I just try to keep all of our things in order and half the time it works, half the time it doesn't. Sometimes neither of us have a debit card, sometimes <laughs> one of us do, it's just, it's always a, um, sh uh, a, a, a show, <laughs> a shot show. Got it. So long story short, I look like the stall cleaner and they look sassy, just saying. autograph signing and to hear the audience and know that all the seats are full how does radio operate with that kind of noise does he thrive off of it or of any kind. Yes, I'm really weird about my socks. Your socks? Yes. Explain, I love this. Well, my socks can't not match. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And it just is like, I just take forever to pick out what pair of socks I'm going to wear. <laughs> and like if they're new socks, I can't like wear them somewhere like here because I would have to test them out at like a smaller rodeo make sure they're not unlucky.
So do your socks have designs or different Some colors? Of them do. Some of them, um, like Sterling, she never had socks, and she'll ask tomorrow. trying to lock you in the tack room. So here's to winner winner chicken dinner. How did it feel Carly? It felt good. <laughs> it felt real good. such of a group of friends you know whenever you get to a level like this that saying is you know everyone's your friend whenever you're at the top and then you kind of get not forgotten about but the real friends really stick around right how do you handle that whenever you're on the top and your phone starts blowing up and you, you know like how how does that how does life work for you like um, that Thank you. 